right in uh, this moment I am emptying out my uh, water tank and uh, my water heater. The reason for that is um, my water heater has a little problem with the um, ore pressure valve, uh, which means it um, loses pressure in the system. And um, I have a simple fix for that, but the problem is um, I need to uh, empty my water system to um, change or fix the valve. On my water heater I have uh, this uh, ore pressure valve. It must uh, open at uh, 4 uh, bar and um, it is to prevent the water boiler from uh, exploding. But uh, my problem is that it is uh, dripping and um, if you look closely you can see we have uh, these pipes here they are made of uh, brass and uh, this one is also made of brass this end is um, galvanized and um, therefore it will uh, rust inside um, my little idea is to uh, change it to a brass and so it doesn't rust. The water system and the boiler is now uh, emptied out and uh, I can then remove the little ore pressure valve here. Then unscrew the old or the valve here. The valve here is uh, yeah it is pretty new so it shouldn't go bad but um, whoa, there was some pressure inside. Normally when I open the valve I open this handle and uh, it will then uh, let out uh, some water or some pressure but um, yeah I don't know if you can see it but um, the valve in there is uh, stuck open. It's a bit hard to show on camera but uh, you can see the valve in there is uh, totally open and uh, the only thing that is uh, blocking the water from uh, coming out is the valve in here um, so um, and the reason for this valve is stuck is because uh, this end here is uh, made of uh, some iron of a kind um, and that is not good to mix metals let us see how it looks inside. Yeah, full of rust. And the valve there is totally stuck. Hmm. I can't even press it in. To clean the valve, you can uh, unscrew this part in the bottom here. Let me show you. Just unscrew it. Then you can remove the spring inside. Then the valve is uh, removed and you can then clean it properly. The valve is now cleaned and uh, also the valve seat is down there and uh, here in the top there is uh, this little rubber thing in the top. It must of course be, uh, be clean. So um, yeah, I think everything is okay. Here we have the old block of uh, galvanized uh, iron. 
and then we have uh, the new one in uh, brass. The difference between uh, these two plugs is uh, this one here isn't uh, magnetic. Magnetic, as you can see, this one is uh, sticking to the magnet, so it can then also rust. Around the plug, I have of course just used some uh, normal Teflon tape, so I am sure that uh, it is watertight. Very nice. Super. Then I just mount the valve again here and I have of course also put on some uh, Teflon tape to um, prevent it from, uh, from leaking. Yeah, not that easy with uh, only one hand as you can see. And the valve is uh, mounted again. It is, of course, not that tight, but a uh, bit tight. And uh, then I will uh, try to fill on a bit of water to see if uh, everything is working as it must do. I have filled on water on the water tank and uh, checked for leaks and uh, everything seems to be uh, totally watertight so uh, that is a good thing i will of course um, put a napkin underneath um, in a couple of days so i am 100% sure that uh, it is totally watertight from the water tank the water is running here at the blue wire in there and then it is running down there and into the blue line which means it is the cold water then it is running up here and uh, into the water heater as you can see we have a pipe more there where I can um, empty out the water heater and um, yeah I don't know if you can see it it is a bit difficult here um, here we have the outlet for the water heater then we have another line here where you um, have a metal hose um, and uh, that metal hose uh, is going up to the, um, the water mixer where you will mix uh, cold water from the bottom uh, with uh, hot water from the top and um, yeah it runs out here the hot water or the hot mixed water and then um, after that we have um, the over pressure valve here as you can see it is connected in here and it is going out here if uh, the pressure in the the water heater here uh, gets gets uh, too high it will uh, blow out all the the steam uh, out of the overpressure valve it is a couple of days later and uh, i have of course put under um, a napkin under the overpressure valve and uh, as you can see it is not watertight so i need to change the over pressure valve to uh, a new one the over pressure valve is uh, leaking and it is uh, ripping out here at the the hole here where it uh, releases the pressure and um, the only solution to um, fix the valve is to uh, mount another and um, then I have uh, this one instead. Uh, when I bought the boat, uh, was um, this one included, 
and um, as you maybe can see, there is standing uh, four uh, bar, uh, which means it is a pressure where it uh, opens the valve here. Uh, the water boiler is uh, rated at uh, five bar, which means uh, it can withstand uh, up to uh, five bar. And uh, this valve also have uh, this little thing, rubber thing in here, but uh, it is um, totally closed. And to open it, uh, you must then uh, turn this one, and it will then open a smaller, small amount, so you can test it. When I bought this uh, valve, it was uh, totally tight here in the, the handle. And uh, right now it is a bit, um, a bit sloppy here, so maybe it is uh, damaged uh, by the, the rust from the, the old screw there. The over pressure valves is uh, pretty expensive and I think I will uh, try this old one before I order a new one. The other problem uh, with this one here is uh, I don't remember if I bought a 6 bar or a 4 bar uh, unit and uh, as you can see there is uh, standing nothing on it uh, around the, the pressure. The problem is if I uh, buy one that is uh, opening too high uh, a pressure uh, it will then blow the water boiler before it opens. So it is important that you, you get the right one and uh, I think this uh, 4 bar uh, pressure release valve is uh, the right one. The over pressure valve is now uh, mounted and it was pretty easy um, and uh, I have of course uh, mounted some uh, Teflon tape so it is uh, totally watertight. I will of course uh, fill up the water system and uh, check for leaks. I have now filled a bit of uh, water on the water tank and uh, the easiest way to uh, fill up the water heater is uh, simply to uh, switch the tap to hot water and then uh, open. And then you are letting out all the air uh, of the water heater uh, and uh, you will then also fill it with, uh, with water. When uh, there is uh, coming out uh, water, the water heater is, is then uh, filled. The water heater is now uh, filled with water as you can see and also the normal cold side is uh, filled with water and as you can hear it is also uh, holding the pressure, so um, that is very nice. When looking at the new used uh, over pressure valve, it uh, also seems to uh, be watertight. Uh, but uh, I will of course uh, put under a napkin, so uh, I am 100% sure that it is uh, functioning as it must do. I have then mounted a hose to check if everything is okay and uh, to open the valve here there is a, a arrow on and uh, you must then turn it uh, counterclockwise yeah. and as you can hear Seems, seems like everything is is okay. Try to open it here by turning counterclockwise. Yeah, and when I just let it be, it uh, stops. So um, I will try to put it under a napkin and uh, then check. Uh, in a couple of days to see if uh, it is uh, watertight. There is of course a bit of water inside the, the snip there, but um, anyway I will uh, put under a napkin 
to uh, check for leaks. Then uh, I will come back in a couple of days to see if uh, it leaks or not. It is now the next day and um, yeah, as you can see it is dripping very much so um, that is not good. The water heater and the water tank is again uh, emptied out and uh, here we have the two uh, bolt valves that was gripping and uh, yeah and uh, today I have uh, then bought a brand new one instead it is um, as you can see Valvula di Si Curesa um, and it is made in um, Italy um, and uh, it is of the brand um, Pintosi as you can see on the box here the standing Pintosi dot e -t. E -t. <laughs> yeah and um, it is cheap and um, I hope it uh, it will work and as you can see it is also uh, four bar when you look at the inside here and uh, look at the bottom uh, down there uh, you can see it is uh, totally closed when I look at the other valve here it um, don't uh, seems like it is um, totally closed when you look at the bottom there where you can see it is not totally closed so maybe it is why it is gripping I think this one is uh, original but um, when you compare them they are almost the same when uh, putting on the Teflon tape, um, you must put on so much that uh, it is hard to uh, turn the screw with uh, your fingers. Uh, if it is totally light when you are screwing it in, there is not enough uh, tape uh, mounted. But, uh, just a tip. When looking at the valve here, uh, you can see it is also uh, CE branded and uh, there is also the date of uh, production so um, that is a very smart thing uh, the old one here is uh, also uh, CE branded but uh, there is standing nothing about the production date and the new valve is mounted. Um, this time I of course hope it uh, works, but um, that will you see in another video. Hope you have enjoyed my little video <laughs> and um, I will see you next time. Bye.